Hi everyone and welcome to the Bonkers.ie channel. Let's face it, grocery bills have skyrocketed lately and sometimes it can feel like a constant battle to keep the fridge and the cupboards full without breaking the bank. But with a few small changes to your shopping habits, you can take back control. In this video, we'll share 15 tips to help you cut the cost of your supermarket spending. Shop early. In general, going to the supermarket early in the morning and early in the week means the shelves will be better stocked as fresh deliveries will have been made. This means you're less likely to have to substitute your shopping list for other potentially more expensive alternatives. It also means you won't have to waste time and fuel driving to another store or coming back the next day for any important items that you couldn't find. Sundays and bank holiday Mondays are definitely the days to avoid if you have have a big family and like to do a big weekly shop in one go. However, having said that, shopping late in the evening can also sometimes be beneficial. This is because most supermarkets offer soon to go off meat, fruit and veg at the end of each day. So popping into your local store late in the evening and heading to the discounted section might get you some cheap food. Try not be fooled by fancy packaging. Generic brands often offer the same quality for a fraction of the price. And when it comes to fresh food and drink in particular, so things like steak, pasta, milk, chicken, bread, eggs, the produce has often come from the exact same farm or factory, meaning you're literally just paying extra for the label. Supermarkets have lots of cunning little tricks that they use to try and make you spend more. A well-known one is that the products which make them the most profit and are usually therefore the most expensive are placed mid-shelf in your line of sight so easy to see and reach. The cheaper products are often top shelf or bottom shelf so harder to reach. So scan the shelves fully and don't just buy items that are in your line of sight. Ever notice that all your staple items such as cheese, milk, bread and cereal are often in completely opposite corners of the store, forging you to wander around more aisles and invariably spend more? Well, if you want to spend less, the best thing to do is make a list and stick to it. It also means you won't forget something and be forced to make another trip to the supermarket or pop into your local convenience store instead. Which brings us on to our next point. Avoid express supermarkets and convenience stores. Doing your weekly shop at a big supermarket will usually be cheaper than its express counterpart. For example, many items in a Tesco express store can be around 10% dearer than a normal Tesco. And while spa and central stores are great for convenience, you'll usually pay for it. Buying in bulk is usually better value, right? Well, wrong. Quite often, it can be cheaper to buy items of fruit and veg separately. What's more, supermarkets constantly run special offers, meaning that the fresh orange juice you might like with your morning breakfast can sometimes be cheaper to buy in two one litre cartons rather than one two litre carton. So how do you know what represents the best value? Simple, compare prices based on the unit price or the price per unit of measurement. In other words, compare prices based based on the price per kilogram, per pod, or per milliliter, etc. This might seem complicated to work out, but thankfully under EU rules, the unit price must be clearly displayed in shops on barcodes beside the actual price. So by looking at this, you can determine what represents the best value and ensure you're not overpaying or being fooled by gimmicky offers. Check out apps like Too Good To Go. This app allows you to buy surprise bags of food from as little as three or four euro from various participating grocery stores, restaurants, and cafes that have leftover food. Now it's a bit of a gamble, of course, as to what you'll get, and you do need freezer space, as invariably all the food you get will be about to go out of date, but you can certainly save money, and it's also a great way to get good deals on more indulgent items that you may not usually be able to afford. It might also prompt you and the family to try some new foods. And of course, it helps cut down on food waste, a real win-win. If you've younger kids, it may not be possible to go to the supermarket alone, but it's usually best if you want to save on your grocery costs. Having a child or two in tow often means you'll get a bit distracted or harangued into putting something extra or sweet into the trolley. Shopping by yourself also means you have a better chance of sticking rigidly to your list. Some supermarkets now only sell long life plastic bags, which can cost up to one euro or more per bag. So always remember, 
to bring your own bags with you so that you don't end up having to fork out several euro just to carry your shopping home. Use loyalty cards wisely. Most supermarkets now have a loyalty program. It might be a money off voucher, for example, in Dunn's or Super Value, or a club card that gives you cheaper prices, for example, with Tesco. So make sure you have these to hand when you're paying for your shopping and make sure they're in date. But don't spend frivolously when trying to reach your 40 euro or 50 euro limit or whatever it may be just for the sake of it because this is what supermarkets want you to do. And if you get to check out and are a few euro short of your voucher limit, know in advance what extra important items you'll buy so that you're not throwing in items that you don't need because you're in a rush cut out the excesses. Do you really need to buy bottled water? If you live in a soft water area, then tap water cooled in the fridge will often taste very similar to what you'd buy in the shop. And you really need all those cleaning wipes. Buying a bottle of cleaner and some reusable cloths will save you money. And if you like shredded cheese, then buying a block of cheese and grating it yourself is usually cheaper. So do an order of your grocery shopping to see if there are things that you can cut out. Get acquainted with your local butcher, greengrocer, florist, and pharmacy. Supermarkets are great for convenience, but they're not always great for price. Quite often, it actually will be cheaper to get your meat, your vegetables, or your beauty products in the local butcher, greengrocer, or pharmacy down the road. What's more, the quality of the food will often be better than what you find in a major supermarket chain, and you'll be supporting your local high street too. A real win-win. Now, we're not saying you have to become a vegetarian or go vegan, but eating a bit less meat each week will be good for your diet, your pockets, and the environment. Consider making a healthy soup with leftover veg in the fridge, or add some eggs to your meals instead if you need lots of protein, or simply make your meat go further by adding rice, lentils, pasta, and grains or root vegetables to a nice recipe. Reducing food waste will mean fewer trips to the supermarket. Buy some good quality airtight containers for things like pasta, cereal, crackers and coffee to keep those items fresher for longer. Potatoes should be kept in a cool, dark place, ideally under 10 degrees, otherwise the light and warmth will cause them to photosynthesize and sprout. It's also crucial that potatoes be kept away from other fresh produce, particularly onions, as they release ethylene gas, which speeds up the ripening process. And remove your fruit and veg from any plastic packaging when you get back from the supermarket. Free Freeing your fruit and veg from its plastic before pushing it in the fridge will help keep it fresh for longer and again mean less food waste and less food going into the bin. Foods like celery, asparagus and herbs should be washed, have their ends cut off and be placed in a small container of water. And don't be afraid to buy frozen veg like broccoli, cauliflower, peas and carrots. It will last way longer and most studies say frozen veg actually has more nutrients than fresh vegetables as it's picked at peak ripeness and then the freezing process locks in the nutrients. Fresh fruits and vegetables on the other hand, although these are some of the healthiest foods that you can buy, by, are often picked before peak ripeness to allow them to ripen during the often long distance that's needed to reach your supermarkets. However, this gives them less time to develop their full range of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And if your fruit and veg seems a bit past its best for a standalone dish, consider making a meal of it instead. So for example, vegetables can be made into a nice soup or a stew, and potatoes can be made into to a good casserole. So I hope you find some of those tips useful and by following these tips, you can hopefully significantly reduce your grocery bills. Remember, a little smart planning and shopping goes a long way. What are your favorite ways to save on your groceries? Leave your tips in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more money saving content.